What up, y'all? Chargers Truther coming to you April 1st, 2024. Haven't made a video in a little over two weeks just because, you know, after the free agent frenzy has, you know, gone, has happened, uh, there hasn't been that many moves that have been going on right now. It's kind of quiet at this time. Um, and also, you know, the Chargers have been making the moves I want them to make, the type of moves that I like to see. I made this account to push for, you know, run, run game, run the ball, stop the run. Get big, get physical, hit hard. You know, it starts in the middle of the field, in the center, in the core of the team. It doesn't, I'm talking about don't worry so much about the pass offense and the pass defense. Worry about the football fundamentals. Again, run the ball, stop the run. That's the first steps of football. And under Tom Telesco, you know, the Chargers have been, you know, not prioritizing that kind of stuff. Just jumping straight to the pass offense and the Chargers main streamers. The main speakers regarding, you know, on this team are going to support the moves that every move almost that the Chargers make. You know, they're going to they're going to support the team. And under Tom Telesco, they've been making a lot of terrible moves for like years and years and years. And that's the reason why I made this account to speak up, to try and, you know, keep this team in check, you know, to, to bring another voice. And now that the Chargers are making the moves that, you know, for the for the most part, the moves that I like to see, you know, first thing they did, get a running back. That's, you know, my favorite position almost. Run the damn ball. First thing they did, get um, get Gus Edwards, running back. Get two um, primarily blocking tight ends, I guess. Center. Big old defensive tackle, um, Puna Ford. Bring back Denzel Perryman, one of the only Chargers players that has been a real hitter. Um, these are the moves I like to see. You know, they clearly, Jim Harbaugh and... Um, Greg or Horitz are like almost a 180 degree difference than Tom Telesco was and I just really like to see it and obviously now the mainstreamers are still supporting that as you know as they should maybe that's not the best way to get the most out of Justin Herbert maybe building a running game will be valuable maybe taking some off of his shoulders will allow him to flourish because again they, they supported Telesco and the, all the moves they ever made you know back when Telesco was in charge they're saying, oh, Herbert just needs to throw it deep more. We just need more receivers. We just need to throw the ball more, throw the ball better. When I'm telling you, since my first video, again, you need to run the ball. You need to stop the run. Worry about the pass after. So, again, I haven't really, you know, the things I'm trying to say have already pretty much been said by everyone else in the Chargers community. So, um, I guess there's a little less of a need for me to be speaking on these things, but I'm still going to be here. I'm still going to be speaking my mind, um, talking about football fundamentals. And yeah, I guess, you know, I'm here today. I'm going to just go over the Chargers offseason so far and talk about, you know, how the roster is looking right now, our biggest positional needs for the rest of the offseason um, before the season eventually starts, like months and months down the road. Um, and, and yeah, so here I'm drinking a juice because things are going sweet right now. Chargers are making some sweet moves and being a Chargers fan is pretty sweet right now in the off season. I know the season hasn't started yet, but it's pretty sweet right now. So cheers. <clears throat> All right. So I guess, you know, the first thing I'm going to do is look at the free agents we signed and the players that we lost. I'll first go over the players that we lost. Keenan Allen, legendary Chargers um, player, probably the best Chargers receiver of all time. Very sad to let him go. Clearly, this team is moving in a different direction, trying to open up more cap space. And as you've seen in the free agents that we've signed, they're all very cheap free agents. We're really spreading the money more evenly over the team. We're not just throwing tons of money at a few players. We're, you know, like Tom Telesco did, we're really evening it out. We're spreading the money out, which I've always said is what we need to do. That's great. You know, not great that we lost Keenan Allen and these other uh, really good Chargers players. That's sad. But, you know, just from a money standpoint, a numerical standpoint, um, I, I can see what they're trying to do at least. We lost Mike Williams, another, you know, Chargers legend, I'd say. He's been great for us. He's been, you know, great Charger. I, I love Mike Williams. Austin Eckler, you know, this dude has been our starting running back for, I don't know, f almost five years, exceeded everyone's expectations. He, I have nothing but appreciation for Austin Eckler. There's a lot of hate 
for him, but I've always been an Austin Eckler fan. I still am. I appreciate everything he's done for us. Tom Telesco clearly mismanaged the run game and misused Austin Eckler. Tom Telesco is an absolute incompetent fool. I know I want to stop talking about him, but you know, you can't really look at the look to the future without remembering the past. We have to remember what's been happening in the past, why we've failed and make changes and go forward with, you know, having learned from these mistakes. Yeah, now I'm just going to jump ahead and try and rate each position group, quarterback, running back, receiver, tight end, all the way down to safety. I'm not going to do special teams and um, give them a rating, see what our team overall rating is now and see, try and, you know, quantize what we need, what positions we need um, for the rest of the, of the off season. So let me take one more drink of this juice. All right, going right into quarterback, Herbert. Herbert's a 10 out of 10, um, maybe 9.75. You know, there's Mahomes, 9, 9.5. And then Easton Stick, I don't really like Easton Stick. He didn't win a game when, he, when we asked him to. I'm giving that a 9. Giving that a 9. Um, running back, Edward Spiller Dotson. Um, I, give it, I give it a 6. Just because, you know, Edwards is good, is pretty good. He's all right. But Spiller has never really done much. We're hoping he steps up. And Dotson is, a, is I don't, you know, can even make the roster? I don't know. So that's a six. We need to improve there. Receiver. We got Josh Palmer. I like Josh Palmer. We got Quinn Johnson, um, who had a disappointing year. And we got Darius Davis. We are very, we're lacking here. But at least we got Palmer. I'll give it, I'll give it another six. You know, that's, we need someone at receiver to, to really step up and, and be a real starter. Um, I know we're going to probably deprioritize the pass, which maybe is going to scare a lot of people, but I like that. I think that's the right move. Um, but, yeah, we need another starter. In case one of them gets injured, we're going to be super incredibly incredibly light there. Tight end, Hurst, Disley, Parham. Um, I don't know, man. This might be another six, maybe a seven. I'll give it a seven, I guess. Tough call there. Then tackle, Pipkins, Slater, Sorrell, and then Trainer. Um, at least we got two ta two starters, Pipkins and Slater's. All right, um, I give it a, another seven. I think uh, guard Johnson, Salier, Jaimez, McFadden. Tough call here. I give it another seven. Another seven. So we're pretty like average. We're pretty average team right now. Um, and then Bozeman and nobody behind him. I think they were talking about maybe McFadden's gonna be uh, maybe a backup or something for Bozeman. I give it. I can. I think I give it an eight. You know, Bozeman. I, I like Bozeman. He's a good starter. We need a backup, but um, at least we got our dude there. Could, it could be a, a seven too, seven or eight. Really tough call there, actually. Maybe a seven. Um, all right, I'll give it a seven, just because we haven't seen Bozeman play. Hard to put too much um, stock into that or whatever. Defensive tackle getting Ford is great. He's a starter, but. Obanya, Hinton, Matlock, Clark, these guys are not really good enough. Um, I'm giving that a six. And then D-end, Mac, Bosa, Fox, Thule, I'm, I got I to gotta give that a freaking nine. That's a nine uh, right off the bat. I don't really think I need to explain that. Linebackers, Perryman, Henley, we got Troy Dye. I, I don't know if I didn't mention that. Um, and then Neiman, I give this a, I give this a six, man. Like, Perryman is Kind of getting old. Henley didn't do anything last season. Die has never really been a starter, I don't think. Neiman been just a backup. So we need another. We need a starting inside linebacker. Um, we need something here. So and then cornerback Samuel Fulton Taylor Leonard. Um, you know, maybe many people would say this is our biggest need, but I, I'll give it a seven. I'll give it a seven because I like Asante Samuel Jr. I, Fulton I think is good enough to be a, a starter. Uh, especially if we deprioritize, you know, in, like I said, if the box defense is going to be good enough to take the pressure off of uh, our DBs, um, I give it a seven. Safety, we got Darwin James and we re-signed Aloe Gilman. So this is a tough one. I, th I would give it in between a seven and an eight. Gilman played good enough. He played pretty good. Uh, I give it an eight just because I think Derwin James is that good enough, is that good. So overall, um, our team, you know, I, I just averaged all these things out to give us uh, an average rating for the team, uh, and it's a 7.08, a 7, you know, let me just write that, a 7. 
Uh, and I think that's pretty accurate. We're, we're like, you know, that's a C. We need to do better. We need to, we still have that number five overall pick. That can boost this team to even better, you know. Got, I don't know how many picks we're going to have in this draft, like eight or nine or maybe even ten. I don't really know. Um, but a lot of moves still to be made. Free agency is not done yet. But here, it, I'm going to say our top needs, in my opinion, running back. Just looking at it. Running back, receiver. Um, tight end is a need as well, but defensive tackle for sure, and linebacker, you know, and you could always invest in the offensive line, um, let's see, yeah, tight end, tight end maybe is down here, running back, receiver, defensive tackle, linebacker, but if I was to, yeah, no, I think that's about right, I still think running back, receiver, defensive tackle, linebacker, and then after is tight end, these moves I mean these positions are are critical that we address them in the draft in the rest of this offseason um, need to get someone better at running back to help out Edwards need to get someone to be a starter for us at receiver um, Palmer is good enough but like I said yeah we need someone else Johnson is, is a big question mark defensive tackle we got Ford but uh, need to just have a better defensive tackle group Again, if any of these guys go down, these starters, we, you know, we're looking thin everywhere. But it's a process. These things are just starting to take shape. Um, I like these the moves that this team has made so far. We have about $30 million in cap space. So, uh, again, just got to keep saying it. There's a lot of moves yet to make. And these things, I think, need to be addressed. If, you know, I mean, they will be addressed. So... You know, we're in the middle of the process, a lot of moves still to be made, but in this moment right now, um, you know, it's it's going good, it's going pretty well, it's going pretty sweet, so cheers. Real quick, I guess, um, before I turn this off, I guess I'm just going to mention the draft real quick. At number five, I guess the the um, value at five is probably going to be at receiver. Marvin Harrison Jr., um, Malik Neighbors, if those two guys are there, got to just take them. You know, just got to just take them. Uh, you know, I'm, again, like I said, I'm not a big, you know, I'm into running the ball, stopping the run, and then pass came, comes after, but the value is just there. Take them. If both of them are gone, I'm taking Brock Bowers. He's a great athlete, he seems like. Uh, if all three of those guys are gone, which I don't think that's going to happen, then, I don't know, whatever, get a tackle, get a, get the next best player, maybe trade back. At that point, if all three of those guys are gone, you know, there's, you know, a lot of moves that we can make. Trade back, draft the best player available at whatever freaking position. One player, that first round pick, is not going to decide our success at all. It's going to help, but we could forfeit that first round pick and still succeed and make the playoffs and win a Super Bowl you know we don't need that first round pick if we make the right moves consistently you know it's about making consistent right moves again charges true through what I do talk about football fundamentals run the ball stop the run get physical move people off the line dominate the line of scrimmage hit hard be bullies physical let's knock some people out and then hit the pass game is like the sushi chef. Let Justin Herbert hit him like a freaking sushi chef. Cut it, making, you know, incisions, making precise plays, you know. That's going to take us all the way, I think, to the promised land. And, yeah, that's about all I got. You know, I'll still be here making moves, making videos, I mean. Um, so, yeah, Chargers Truth Them Out. Thank you.